Welcome to the Existential Empath Podcast. My name is Tanya and I am an intuitive empath. My intention is to share valuable tips, tools, and techniques that I have learned so you can tap into your own inner healer naturally and intuitively. Welcome back. I hope you are all doing well. In this episode, I wanted to briefly touch on reasons why you may be guided to spend some more time alone. And this has been coming up in my reality quite significantly. So I kind of just sat down and wrote down the reasons why I've been feeling guided to spend more time alone. And uh, I am recognizing a lot of my friends are reaching out, wanting to create group connections and, you know, a lot of things like that. And I'm just not feeling it. I'm really not resonating with that right now in my life. And it's nothing personal, you know, towards my friends. It's just where I am right now. And so uh, I wanted to touch on this because maybe some of you are going through this as well, especially as empaths. We pick up on the energies around us so much. And uh, oftentimes we do want to separate or spend some time in solitude so we can really tap into our own energy. So that's the really the first reason as to why you may be guided to spend some time alone. It's because you are learning how to master taking your own energy back. And oftentimes when we find ourselves around other people so often, we begin to pick up on their emotions, their energies. And we get to a point where we don't even recognize what energies are ours and what energies are those around us. And so if we are really strongly being guided to disconnect a little bit from people around you and maybe spend some time in nature or spend some time at home alone, reading a good book or uh, meditating, whatever it may be, if you're being guided to do that, then you're probably being guided because you are learning how to take your own energy back. You're learning how to um, discern what energy is yours and what energy is the energy of those around you. And that's a really good indicator of why you would want to spend some time alone. And another reason why you may be guided to spend some time alone is because you are reevaluating your belief systems. And this has been pretty predominant for me. Uh, I began to recognize that... Um, some of the belief systems that my friends were having, my family were having, I just wasn't resonating with them. And uh, I've been spending a lot of time alone to just reevaluate, you know, what are my belief systems? I've been uh, following other people's belief systems pretty much most of my life, right? Uh, the moment you're born, you start uh, learning things from your family, your friends, your peers, your teachers, uh, any, you know, your environment, everyone around you, and you begin to establish belief systems. But are they really yours? Are they really mine? <laughs> so oftentimes when we are guided to spend more time alone, it's really us just sorting through that. And uh, maybe you're being guided to dive into some rabbit holes and to do some more research in areas where uh, you, you know, struggled with a little bit, you know, that could be education, it could be religion, it could be politics, it could not be any of those things. It could be spirituality. Uh, there's so many topics that uh, we hold belief systems in. And uh, maybe you're just wanting to separate a little bit from everyone around you and all the chaos around you to even try to figure out what it is that you even believe. Um, and I know that's been very powerful in my reality right now uh, because I am busting through limited beliefs and maybe you are too. And maybe you're recognizing those around you have belief systems that revolve uh, around lack. Um, or, you know, whatever it may be, and you're trying to create more abundance in your life, and you feel that it's just, you know, counterintuitive to, to listen to what they have to say, because you don't really resonate with it anyway. And so you feel like you want to separate a little bit just to try to um, master your own energy around that and have a deeper understanding of what it is that you truly believe. And, uh, you know, another reason why you may be guided to spend some more time alone is because you're being guided to go within, to connect with your soul. And, uh, you know, if you're the type of person that always feels the need to have someone around you all the time, 
then there could be a reason for that. You could feel that, you know, you don't want to dive into your emotions. You don't want to feel uh, maybe the pain or the trauma that you've gone through, or uh, maybe you like the um, commotion of having people around you. You like that distraction, but really what you're doing is you're disconnecting yourself from your soul and not allowing yourself to listen to your own internal guidance system, your own intuition. And maybe you're seeking advice from people outside of you when really the answers are within and, you know, people come and go in our lives all the time and some will stay longer than others. And, you know, sometimes they'll leave and then they'll come back later on, but very few people will stay the entire time, you know, as we're going through our process, especially when we begin to have a deeper understanding that everything is energy and uh, that involves frequency and vibration. And so if we are continuing to uh, follow the path of others, then uh, we are not allowing ourselves to grow. And if we are constantly waiting for others, um, it's going to slow us down in our own personal growth and development. And, you know, each person is unique and in, in the passions that we have and the interests and, and in, our, in our dreams, really. And so, you know, when we walk our own unique path, we um, can grow faster and we can expand uh, more broadly in a way where we aren't following um, others or constantly waiting for other people to grow or to awaken or to develop or, you know, whatever we're waiting on others to do. Uh, we've got to pave our own path. And I know that that can be really scary. I, I'm doing it now. I'm doing it with this podcast. I'm doing it with this uh, YouTube channel. And I'm putting myself out there in ways that I haven't really done before. And, um, Sometimes it's really exciting and sometimes it's really scary. And those times that it's really scary is when I take a step back and I look at why is this scaring me? Is this a fear that was created in my childhood or uh, later on in life? You know, where is this coming from? And so I really try to consciously take a look at, you know, why are the negative emotions coming up when I begin to pave my own path and pave my own way? And so if uh, you're being strongly guided to spend some time alone, then it's your higher self. It's your higher self telling you, Hey, I want, I want to build a relationship with you. I want to connect with you, but you know, we may have to go through some difficult times. We may have to release some, uh, you know, not so fun emotions. We may have to move through some events of the past that we don't want to go to, uh, but it's going to be for our greatest and best good. And uh, so really just listening to ourselves and allowing ourselves that solitude and that alone time is also going to build up our self-worth. It's going to build up our self-confidence and it's going to really allow us to recognize that we really don't need anyone in our lives, that all we need is us, ourselves, right? And it is uh, wonderful to have people in our lives. It's, it's nice to have that human connection, but it's also really nice to know that we don't always need it right? Because we have everything with inside of us. And when you get to that peaceful um, point where you can recognize that, wow, does it feel good? <laughs> it really does feel good because then you don't feel dependent on others. You, you know, deep down that you can do it on your own, but you also know deep down that you can ask for help too, because that's the beauty of it. The beauty of giving and receiving and having that balance within our lives. And so, uh, you know, an uh, another reason why you may be guided to spend some more time alone is because you are timeline shifting, you're quantum leaping, uh, you're in the cocoon, so to speak, kind of like the caterpillar goes into the cocoon for a while and then it comes out as a beautiful butterfly. And maybe that's why you're being guided to spend some more time alone, especially during the spiritual awakening process. Many of us do that because we have to disconnect from the matrix, so to speak. We have to disconnect from the programs and we have to really kind of shuffle through, you know, which programs are serving me and which programs aren't. And how can I bust through these limited belief patterns that I've been carrying my entire life? And so I know for me, those moments when I feel like I just need to take a step back from everyone around me, 
and just kind of go within. It's literally like a hermit crab. <laughs> I feel like I'm going within my shell or uh, a turtle, you know, it's like, okay, I'm going in my shell, but I'll be back out. I'll see you in a little bit. It's almost like a bear hibernating at winter time. And <laughs> it is winter here uh, in the Pacific Northwest in the States. And so maybe that's why I'm feeling a little guided to spend some more time alone too. It's that bear spirit animal energy <laughs> that we get oftentimes, you know, during the winter months. But, you know, you do begin to recognize the times when you want to go internal. And then there's times when you want to be more external and it could fluctuate with the weather too. I mean, I do recognize that now that I live in an environment with uh, four seasons, I do recognize the times where I want to go more within and then the times when I want to be more social and go without. And so, you know, just start to tune into that energy within yourself and, you know, sit down and maybe meditate on it a little bit. Ask yourself, why? Why do I feel this need to be alone? And, you know, what am I meant to be learning in this time? Or what am I meant to be doing? Maybe you're not meant to be doing anything. Maybe you're just meant to, to be, right? Many of us have been taught that we always have to be doing something. And maybe you're just being guided to just be and to just sit with your own energy and to discern what energy is yours and the energy of those around you. Um, maybe you're relaxing your central nervous system. You know, maybe your body is telling you it's time to disconnect so, you know, you can calm down so we can regulate uh, your nervous system so you can connect with your soul, so you can connect with your higher self uh, in an effort to timeline shift, right? Because we all want to be the best versions of us. We all want to be living our best lives, but uh, oftentimes we're not because we're being so heavily distracted by what's going on outside of us. You know, maybe we're distracted by uh, our friends, our, our family, and what their paths are, what their paths are that they're putting onto us that they want us to follow. And it doesn't resonate deep down within our soul, or it's not um, vibing with our heart, right? Because really why we're here, it's to follow our hearts. It's to learn how to love and to be loved and uh, to really find passion and joy in our lives. We aren't here to suffer. We aren't here to be sad, but these are experiences that we've all signed up for. We've all signed up to experience these emotions. You wouldn't know what bliss was unless you experienced deep sadness and sorrow right? We've got to have that contrast in order to really appreciate what that emotion brings forward to us. And so, you know, when you, when you spend some time alone, it forces you to shut off the distractions around you. And it forces you to sit with your feelings, with your emotions, with that internal voice within inside of you. And uh, it could bring up some unpleasant memories, some unpleasant feelings, but uh, if we always remember that uh, emotions are just energy in motion, it's moving through our body. It wants to move through our body. And we've got to honor that. We've got to draw attention to it consciously and be aware of it and let it move through us. And if you just keep stuffing it down, it's bound to burst out at some point, right? It's just creating a pressure cooker effect the more that we avoid it. And so... Uh, you know, take those moments of solitude, those moments of alone time and really reflect on how you're feeling. Tune into your body, tune into your mind uh, and tune into your emotions and see really what it is that's being brought to the service. I know today I had some bursts of crying and I'm like, why am I crying? I have nothing to cry about, but I just honored that feeling and just let it move through because my body was telling me, something was stuck, something needed to be processed. And uh, it was coming out in a version of crying. And so I just let it happen. And then after that, about an hour later, wow, I felt better. I was like, okay, I don't really know what that was. I don't even really know if it was mine, <laughs> to tell you the truth. But it moved through me. And uh, I didn't, I did question it in the beginning, like, what is this? But then I just stopped and let it move through. And so, you know, maybe you're feeling that way. Maybe you're feeling guided to spend some time alone so you can process some things. And I just wanted to create this um, podcast because I know that this is something that has been really coming to the surface for me and it may be coming to the surface for some of you. So I just want you all to know that you're not alone in this. You know, many of us are going through these transitionary stages. We are um, 
kind of just sloughing off the old versions of us and allowing for the new shiny, beautiful versions of us to shine through. So I send you all so much beautiful energy. And if you're struggling, I send you uplifting healing energy. And uh, just remember you're loved, right? Each and every one of us are loved. And maybe that's what you need to hear today. And maybe that's what I needed to hear today too. So I send you all so much beautiful energy. Take care. You deserve to navigate your life in alignment with health, happiness, and abundance. To learn more about the services that I provide, including Beyond Quantum Healing Hypnosis, EFT Tapping, and the Emotion Code, visit my website at www.theexistentialempath.com. Thank you.